Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to work on yet another problem from Hacker Rank, and this video is again in continuation with the already ongoing series of Hacker Rank. So today we are going to solve the problem of Genrix. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please do. And uh, there is a simple and easy process that you just have to hit the red colored subscribe button. That's all. So now without wasting any time, let's see what we have to do and how should we do it. So this is the very problem that you can see here that we have generic methods are very efficient. And yes, they are uh, typecasting being one benefit. And what we have to do is we have to uh, add few different type of data being integer and string and good thing is that in the test cases they have handled this scenario so in case you try to do overloading uh, it will not work right so we have to use generix here so when we say generix and when we define our type there are two ways to do it either using t as in type or e as in element both will work but here t will suffice because we are going to uh, create our own type so here we have to create a method and that method information is displayed here so we have print array so let's first create that method so when we um, create any method which doesn't have to return anything we just do void and then print array and then inside we have to have a type of the data that we are getting and then we will simply display that information right so here data now a uh, point is that when we say data it has to be of certain type here we are getting the data from two different types int and string so what we should do so here we will use t so t uh, is here as in a type right so that defines that you are going to get multiple type of data Right. So simply you can do this. So when we create an int array, we do this int array and then similarly for string, we do string here for type, we will do T. But when we say that this method is going to handle this T type of data, we also have to know, uh, let JVM know that this is going to handle this T type of data. Now, if you try to run this, it is going to work fine. Uh, but first let me do this. Okay, so it is going to work fine. Now good thing is that you can type anything here and this will work fine. So I'll just type here, um, let's say, uh, what should I type, uh, 10. Now if you try to run this, so it's working fine. So t just uh, is a conventional way to define that you are going to get a type which can be any right so that's how we do it but you can do anything here so this is i think it for the code if you try to run this it is going to work fine so i hope the explanation was clear if not you can ask your query in the comment section i will be here so i hope i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye